If you're like most of us, you probably cringed when you got your latest auto insurance bill, only to find out that it's higher than last year. No need to panic though, as this increase is something that's happening to many people across the country. But just how much higher? Well, it varies. According to Bankrate's recent study, the average full coverage, liability, collision, and comprehensive policy is now $2,014 nationwide, which is just a 2.6% bump from 2022. However, some states are seeing much steeper increases, such as Illinois where premiums have gone up 16.7%, $258 to $1,806, Alaska with a 15.4% hike, $260 to $1,946, and Florida where drivers are now paying 15.2% more, $421 to $3,183. That's right, the Sunshine State and New York now have average premiums over the $3,000 mark. On the bright side, two states are bucking the trend. New Jersey saw a 7.2% decrease to $1,754 and Massachusetts premiums went down 2.6% to $1,262. Of course, the amount you personally pay will depend on factors such as the make and model of your car, your coverage choices, age, and driving record. But even though auto insurance only takes up about 3% of the average person's income, according to Bankrate, there are still ways to lower your premium. So, buckle up, grab a pen and paper, and check out these expert tips for keeping your auto insurance costs in check. Credit, more like credit. Give your auto insurance premium a boost by taking control of your credit score. It's like a superhero suit for your wallet. If your state allows it, insurers can use your credit information to price policies. And you know what they say, with great credit comes great savings. On average, drivers with excellent credit pay $1,764 annually, while those with poor credit pay a whopping $3,479. So, flex your credit muscle and watch the savings roll in. Plus, with a higher score, you'll be unstoppable when it comes to securing better loan and credit card terms. Don't be shy, ask your insurance provider about all the discounts they offer. They might surprise you with savings for having a fancy anti-theft device in your car or for being a smart cookie and getting both your auto and home insurance from the same happy family. The perks don't stop there. If you're part of the military, you could save even more. And who said driving less is a bad thing? Your insurance provider might reward you for it too. If you're currently working from home, tell them about it. You never know, you might end up saving big bucks. Think about upping that deductible, sugar, your deductible is the amount you'll need to fork over if you make a claim. The higher the deductible, the lower your premium will be. If you increase your deductible from $250 to $500, it could bring down your coverage cost by a whopping 15 to 30 percent. Just remember to keep enough dough saved up in case you need to pay that difference yourself. It's always a good idea to shop around for auto insurance at least once a year. Just because you've been with the same company for years, doesn't mean they're still the best choice for you. With auto insurance being such a competitive market, companies are always vying for your business. By comparing costs and services, you could be saving yourself a pretty penny. You might want to try out a usage-based insurance policy. These policies are offered by many insurance companies and can reward you for being a safe and responsible driver. The insurance company will monitor your driving habits through a mobile app or plug-in device, and then adjust your premium accordingly. And, if your car is getting a little long in the tooth and not worth as much as it used to be, consider reducing your coverage. While you still need to have a minimum amount of insurance required by your state, you might not need to keep your comprehensive and collision coverage. Collision coverage will protect you if you hit another car or a telephone pole, while comprehensive coverage covers non-collision events like theft or a tree falling on your car. So, if your car is worth less than 10 times your premium, it might not make financial sense to keep those extra coverages. So, don't be afraid to explore your options and see if there's a better deal out there waiting for you.